prominent Canadian sports drink company BioSteel has announced its decision to seek creditor protection in the United States and Canada. The objective is to find a potential buyer to preserve the floundering business. Ontario's Canopy Growth Corporation, a staple of the cannabis industry and the owner of BioSteel since 2019, has withdrawn its financial support for the sports drink company. This has led BioSteel to invoke the Canadian company's Creditors Arrangement Act, a measure that companies often turn to in hopes of navigating the stormy seas of financial distress by restructuring or shutting down operations. And as they seek solace within the Canadian legal framework, they'll simultaneously tread the intricate path of Chapter 15 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. BioSteel's formula for success involved astute marketing deals with the NHL, NBA and NFL, and endorsements from notable athletes like Connor McDavid. However, when Canopy Growth took the reins in 2019, the anticipated synergies, including CBD-infused drinks, fell short of expectations. Since acquiring BioSteel, Canopy's coffers have seen a drawdown of roughly $366 million on BioSteel alone. This is further compounded by a monthly cash expenditure nearing $15 million. Overall, almost 60% of Canopy's financial woes this fiscal year are attributed to BioSteel's undertakings. The implications are profound for BioSteel's workforce too. Out of their 190 employees spread across North America, the current scenario could lead to upwards of 180 of them being let go. The silver lining is that BioSteel's sales have shown an uptick. In the initial quarter of 2023, BioSteel registered a sales revenue of $24 million. But operational costs, including their association with the NHL as its official hydration partner, act as a further strain on the budget. To add to the Sega, Canopy has unveiled some discrepancies within BioSteel's financial records, prompting an inquiry both by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission and Canadian regulatory authorities. Nonetheless, there remains a glimmer of hope for BioSteel. The aim of the legal proceedings isn't necessarily to wind up the sports drink company, but to find an owner who sees potential in running BioSteel independently. Over two dozen potential buyers have shown interest, but as of early September, none possess the financial club to cater to BioSteel's immediate operational demands. The legal filings are designed to buy time for BioSteel to sort out the complexities that stand in the way of a potential sale. Whether this is a story of resurrection or dissolution remains to be seen. Thanks for tuning in. Please like this video and hit the subscribe button for more NHL updates and videos about hockey history.